The insult that men are commonly violent towards women is played out on our media with obscene regularity, and instead of being outraged, men tend to hang their heads. Too many men believe these stories, despite their own experience and their own upbringing. You, you do kind of make excuses for their behaviour and, and but. Well, I know you've been to Women's Aid, haven't you? The domestic violence charity, just to, to to hear from them what goes on. You've spoken to victims of domestic violence. I have, and, and survivors who've come through the other side. And going to Women's Aid to find out about domestic violence is like going to a Sony centre to find out about televisions. You'll come out with information, facts, and figures that all confirm, without a shadow of a doubt, that Sony televisions are the very best on the planet. And how do you know this? Well, because the staff at the Sony Centre told you. Women's Aid and Refuge and other businesses making money out of domestic violence are there to sell a story. The story isn't true, but it's highly believable. The story has female victims and male perpetrators, and the more people they can sell it to, the more money they make. Men convicted of domestic violence, or even if only suspected of it, can be forcibly sent on therapy courses lasting several months. These courses are based on the sexist Duluth model. That's like a course in racial harmony being based on the manifesto of the Ku Klux Klan. We're going to start, as usual, with a quiz. <laughs> Team one, which one has sex with us when we're asleep? The sexual, sexual controller. controller. Well done. She's and devised parallel programs to help both women victims and male perpetrators. What does he believe about women? That is. There is. Possessions. Possessions. Excellent. Which one says, I know I was abusive, but it's because I was jealous and insecure? The persuader. The persuader and another one as well. The liar. The liar. The liar. He's making excuses. Good. Which one's They're learning about different types of abusers to see if they can recognize any of their own behavior. Which one compares us to Jordan when we're watching television? Very unfavorably, usually. <laughs> Yeah. The, head worker. the head worker, excellent. What does he believe about women? What does he believe about our intelligence and abilities? You know, thick and useless. We're all thick and useless. Where did he get those particular beliefs from? Anywhere. Anywhere. Can well, you give me an example? His upbringing. His upbringing? Media. The media. What about jokes? Yeah. Jokes about women? Yeah. Good. So everything down the everything tells our head worker that women are stupid, yeah? Yeah. Good. Is it really only from a man to a woman? Cindy, you are missing the big picture here. There is no big there picture yes, here, sir. Jack. Are you talking right. about quitting? Look, look all what my life, means about everybody's been telling me what, what to do, do ever means since college. Mean? This you is not means your mean? decision, it is my decision. I will not listen to this bullshit from you. I will not. Women are victims of domestic violence because the violence towards them is an expression of inherent male aggression. It's all about male power. If domestic violence is an expression of inherent male aggression, why is domestic violence between lesbians greater than that between heterosexuals? Male oppression is sponsored by patriarchy within our society, and domestic violence results from an imbalance in economic power between men and women. Well, historically, men have always earned more than women, due to men working more hazardous and demanding jobs with longer hours. This has never made men more or less violent towards women. Rather than power, it's actually powerlessness that triggers domestic violence. What kind of things do you think women do um, that could cause domestic violence or cause... Um, could cause a man to behave violently? Yes. Yeah. Well, by threatening to remove his children, by threatening to kick him out of his home, um, by threatening to leave him and take the things that he loves away from him. Um, the problem for men is that they have no, legal, they have no real legal recourse. Um, they know that the woman is going to be granted all the advantages. And um, because of this, they often respond in, in, with violence. They believe that their futures are going to be blighted, that there's nothing they can do about it. And quite clearly, it is in their interest to try to intimidate the woman in order to prevent her from doing so, from whatever, to prevent her from doing for whatever she is threatening to do. Given that they can't do this legally, they, or don't believe that they can do this legally, they are likely to use violence in order to protect their own interests. Uh, women, on the other hand, have uh, all the facilities available to them, provided for them, um, and um, don't need to resort to violence. 
Research evidence makes clear that domestic violence is often closely linked to personality disorders, particularly amongst women, rather than any supposed male dominance in society. The only things that men dominate in Western society are the figures for heart attacks, homelessness, workplace deaths, and suicides. Like so many of the slogans invented by feminism, the term male-dominated is a myth and always has been.